in these problems, we're being asked to translate a phrase into a, an algebraic expression. And this is tricky until you get used to it. One thing you should do is uh, make a copy or take a screenshot of these keywords uh, and be looking for these keywords. A sum is addition. Uh, other keywords for that, increased by, more than, added to. The operation there is going to be a plus sign, uh, the addition operation. When we're talking about subtraction, the keyword uh, that you see most often is difference. You might also see decreased by, less than, or subtracted from. Multiplication is referred to as a product. Or um, sometimes you'll see twice. That's two times. Uh, so that's a type of multiplication. And then division is usually referred to as a quotient. Or you might see divided by, which is a little more clear. Let's try a bunch of these. It, it, it helps to get a lot of practice, so I put a lot up here. The first one says, translate the phrase into an algebraic expression, the product of 9 and b. Well, product is multiplication. So this is 9 times b. The way we usually write that algebraically is just 9b. So when you smash the numbers and letters right next to each other, that implies multiplication. So the product of 9 and b is 9b. Let's try the next one. This says the sum of 8 and x. Well, sum means addition. So this can be just x, sorry, 8 plus x. Or you could write that as x plus 8. I guess it, it works uh, either way. Let's try this next one. It says b divided by 8. OK, so it didn't say quotient. Divided by is pretty clear. So b divided by 8. The way we usually write this, instead of with this division symbol, is we make a fraction and we put the uh, thing that's being divided on top and the thing you're dividing by on the bottom. So this would be b over 8. The next one says the difference of c and 3. Now that difference means subtraction. So we'd say c minus 3. And the last one here says twice w. Twice means two times. So this is 2 times w, which we would just write as 2 w. So that is a little bit of work in translating phrases into algebraic expressions.